Welcome back, man. We here. Stop playing. Stop playing. Welcome back to the one and only God Talk, the podcast where all things matter. I am your humble, your gracious, and aggressive host, Sean August, Sean of God Radio, Sean, Father Sean. I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Of course, uh, please follow us on Instagram now. We got our own Facebook. We got everything. Um, I'm going to make sure it's accessible and clickable right here under the video um this is season two of god talk episode two of god talk and we are super excited i am super excited to get this back going and share as much information as i can um as pops allows you know whatever pop want me to say uh that's what i'm gonna say so uh before we go any further without further ado i definitely want to ask you to bow your head close your eyes as i said quick prayer father pops thank you again for another opportunity to deliver a message directly from you please give me the vocabulary please give me the delivery please give me the tone to make sure it falls on the ears that need to hear it thank you for giving me life health strength giving me the mind to process the information my experience ask you for your forgiveness your guidance your peace your mercy amen all right so we're gonna get started i'm going straight off my laptop this time um i usually have the inbox set up make it sound real professional but i went to sleep thinking about this i woke up thinking about this so i'm just gonna go with it um the title of today uh, this episode, this particular episode, the title of this particular episode is going to be called God Talk, How to Make a Nigga. We can say how to make a nigga commandments, how to make a nigga, but it's going to be real quick. It's probably be the sh- sh- quickest and fastest God Talk out there, but it may be the most impactful. So uh, one of the first things, uh, one of the first commandments that we're going to go over is this is what the system uses. These are some rules kind of broken down into layman terms um, of how to make a nigga, you know? And uh, I want to just give a disclaimer that niggas aren't always black. Um, You can have white niggas and Mexican niggas, whatever racial nigga you want to. Uh, I just want to put that out there and say that, but I'm going to just go. If you follow me on Twitter, um, I have posted them on my personal Twitter. I am going to repost them individually on the God Talks Twitter. So I think it's God Talk PC or God Talk Pod or something. I don't know. I'll make sure y'all have it. All right. Commandment number one. All right. (laughs) Here we go. Use the word negro which is spanish for black apply a southern draw say it with a hateful tone make them hate and ashamed of the word black and i don't know if these are any in any specific order or anything but we're gonna go okay A nigga shall not boast on his intelligence or talents. Right? Stay humble, my nigga. (laughs) If attempted, make sure no accomplishments can give a nigga reason to believe he or she can live or thrive independent of the system's guidance. Nigga, you always need us no matter what you do. The system shall maintain a consistent effort to pervert a nigga's perception of his or herself. They're always 
That's that. I don't even need to break that down. That's easy. This is God talk, people. Come on. It is of the system's interest to inspire hatred in its poor citizens towards their own. You gang members. Make sure they hate themselves all across the world. Iconography. Apply iconography. Put something in front of them that they worship more than themselves. Punish them and hate them for losing their fear of words. I love this one because this one, it, you have to actually think about it. I'm going to say it again. Punish them and hate them for losing their words, their fear of words. Punish them and hate them for losing their fear of words. All right. So if you don't know, I've said it um, plenty of times, but the people in poverty, between the people in poverty and the people who aren't in poverty, there's a 32 million word difference. There's a word gap of 32 million words that we don't know coming from poverty. OK, so when you get smart, they're going to make you feel dumb. You're going to feel you ever used a big word and like, oh, he's trying to be fancy. He's using a big word. That's exactly this commandment in play. Punish them and hate them for losing their fear of words. Use your words to express yourself. Use your words accurately to express yourself accurately. All right. The greatest weapon is distraction. TV, Instagram, sports, not me. <laughs> Let the system tell them that white privilege is better than being black and poor. Now, that's both ways. You tell the white man that white privilege is better than being black and poor, and you tell the black man that white privilege is being better than black and poor. So everybody's going to end up thinking the same way. One person is going to feel more superior than the other one the other one is going to feel inferior to the other one come on people it's easy come on this is easy this is god talk that's why i'm gonna blow through this stuff no little not make them believe privilege is better than financial freedom so make them think that getting stuff for nothing is better than working and earning and paying okay how many times is your homies asking you for a discount How many times you ask for something free? Free shit is a privilege. It's not better than financial freedom, being able to buy it. All right. Nigga doesn't mean black. It means those who the system continues to step on. Come on, niggas. <laughs> we calling each other niggas. That got me questioning, like, should I call my homies niggas? Because me calling you a nigga is admitting that the system is stepping on you which it is so it ain't lying tell them the system is apologetic and promise compensations slash reparations that they can't give come on man how many false apologies we getting out here h&m gucci come on man give you a president no no promises fulfilled but never mind let me let me not add politics into it, all right promise promise government aid to the pathetic poor but not the ones that are free so all my free thinkers all my entrepreneurs y'all ain't getting no government help y'all ain't getting no loans you got to be pathetically poor pathetically poor to get ebt and people be mad at trump because he's trying to cancel all that shit out and he wants you to be never mind all right Make freedoms look more like a burden than slavery. Make, make, trying to invest and earn your own dollar and create your own company. Make that look harder than waking up, going to work for somebody else. And y'all can add your own examples. Again, this is God talk. We're going to blow through this information because it's easy, easy to understand. It's easy, easily typed out. It's in layman's terms. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going through this. God talk, man. All right. Do not let them obtain much wealth when they see their wealth and worth and build their wonders. Take them down. Michael Jackson, Nipsey Hussle, Tupac, Biggie, Dr. Sebi, who we want to talk about, Sam Cooke, who we want to talk about, who we want to talk about, 
MLK, Malcolm X, who we want to talk about. Money and power is all it is about. Money and power will only be given to a few of the pathetic lot. Come on, man. We go through the commandments, man. I'm Noah right now. I'm Noah August right now. Make them hate their brothers and sisters who escape. Let them laugh, smear, and betray each other. That will save the system's time. Come on, man. Come on, man. Stop hating, man. Stop laughing. Stop joking, man, when you see somebody going through shit. You feel me? Everything ain't fucking funny. Stop tearing crabs in the barrel. We bringing each other down. That's saving the system time. Don't let them know the hatred can live inside of us all. Encourage them to shift the blame inward. Stop playing with me, man. This is God talk, man. I'm not coming with no fuck shit. Man, never mind. This shit better have a million clicks. Let me see. Allow suspicions and conspiracies to be acceptable replacements of truth. Illuminati. Masonry. Global warming. Mass incarceration. Like all these conspiracies that we focus on opposed to grabbing a book and learning some other shit. All right. Base their faith on the mentality of slavery. Paid slavery should be thought of as paying dues. Require diplomas to get jobs. Make it hard for niggas to get diplomas. Come on, man. I'm almost done, man. I'm just going to read through these, man. I don't need to elaborate, man. When a white nigga uses drugs or alcohol, don't be so harsh so they believe that niggas of color are worse behaved when they do the same. Give niggas life sentences masked as temporary imprisonment. Don't give no ex-convict no job. Don't let them know the system considers women as niggas of the world. Wow, got it. Okay. A lot of people are get upset with me when I when I speak my perception or my opinion on women. Though I do think it should be valued a lot higher than what it is. I need everyone to understand that our women have been and are still being manipulated by the highest of the higher ups. Okay. Women have always been the most vulnerable creature. And then if you add a strategic plan to manipulate their minds even more, to deceive them even more, to misguide them even more, to think something's important when it's really not. It can be very damaging and has been very damaging. And um, I know I speak a lot and I talk a lot of shit, you know, but that's all I'm saying. The world considers women the biggest nigga of all. Okay? The world considers women to be the biggest dummies. I consider women to be the most powerful thing on this earth. Okay? I did my last podcast, God Talk, season two, episode one was about God being a black woman, okay? So I love women. I want to speak to the power, but I need you guys to understand that, yeah, men are definitely manipulated, but we do everything for the woman. And the woman is the more powerful creature, the one who can look and talk to God directly. So there's been a super plan put in action to manipulate you and distract you. Okay, I just want to say that. I hope that kind of clears up everything. The rest I'm going to blow through this. Man. Let me read that one more time before I go on. Don't let them know the system considers women the nigga of the world. When a nigga climbs the ranks, threaten him to bring him down. Don't allow them to be congratulatory to themselves. If all these commandments failed, you have met a disruptive nigga who is confident in himself and his spirit. 
He knows where he comes from. He knows where he's going. Otherwise, they live in a democracy. They can buy their freedom. This is Sean August, man. This has been another episode of God Talk. Season two is just me and God. And that's how we going to handle it from here on out. I hope I said something to spark something in your mind, to give you a brand new way of thinking things, to ultimately make your life as easy as possible, as effortless as possible. Sean August, God Talk, the podcast where all things matter. I'll see y'all next time.